Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a big day of FC25 ahead, highlighted, of course, by the brand new season two that is starting today, the Icon Pack Refresh, and hopefully a big market rise with those division rivals rewards. We also have to talk about the team two of Trailblazers that we have some of the first leaks for. It's already impacting the market, especially because of the big name player SBC that we think will be coming tomorrow on Friday. If you're excited for it, guys, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight into things with yesterday's content on Wednesday because it was kind of a busy day. There was a lot going on, especially in the SBC section. We got the party bag SBC that we were expecting. Now, it's not called a party bag, but we all kind of call it that anyway. Road to the Knockouts, Total Rush, Guaranteed Pack. This actually refreshes on Friday, or yeah, I believe that's going to actually count down towards Friday content drop. It said two days at the release, but the thing with this SBC was it was so cheap. An 82 with 184, and then an 83 rated squad in a team of the week unbelievably cheap i mean honestly it needed to be cheap you guys know how these packs are the pack weight's not that great i opened it i got asked for the quota a lot of people are opening this and getting sort of the same thing right some of those discard players from total rush and road to the knockout but of course there is that chance of hitting something big it is 100 worth doing you can see that's a crazy upvote to downvote ratio and footpin 100 agree with that one but since the fodder uh that's needed for this is just 82s and 83s and one team of the week fodder on the 85s the 86s and the 87 range is crashing like crazy guys 85s are 5.8k or just under 6,000 coins maybe just inching upwards a little bit right now honestly probably got too cheap i think they're a great investment today we'll talk about that in a second these cards were 8k yesterday at the content drop and now they were just under 6,000 coins with the icon pack refreshing today this is once again my favorite investment of the day is buying fodder but in what ranges is the question guys i like 85s 86s and 87s i kind of like 85s the most i think they've dropped off the most under 6k for these especially during rewards i think it's going to be a great opportunity to stock up on a bunch of these and sell them when the icon pack refreshes today that's honestly the pro the best move if you have not invested and you want to get on some of the bids on the market and some of the trades and snipes it's grindy right because it's fodder you're gonna use a lot of transfer list space if you have a lot of coins you can do it if you have not a lot of coins you can do it that's the nice thing about it though but this SBC is refreshing of course the 88 max icon needs 85 86 86 and 87 rated squads as well as some of those higher rated team of the week cards I would expect those to rise today as well but if you want to get in on a rivals rewards investment it's probably going to be the most profitable in a short term 85s 86s and 87s are low and they're low because this SBC from yesterday didn't make them move. Now, I do want to touch on team of the week prices because some of you guys may be like, Nate, look at team of the weeks. They're all 12,000 coins. Should we sell? No, nah, no, nah, this ain't the time. If you've invested in team of the weeks and you're waiting for that long term rise, you know, you're waiting to sell team leaks for when they fly up in price. This is not your opportunity to sell. Yes, they are insta selling at 12,000 coins at the moment. I think they're sitting on the market for like 12.5, 12.750. We're holding, right? Team of the Weeks, 20K at some point. This is the beginning. This is the liftoff, right? They're no longer just discard on the market. They're starting to lift up in price. We absolutely love that. Also in SBCs yesterday, we had the Trailblazer Challenge 3. Get that one done for a easy pack to get that one done too. Now, let's go back to the game and finish up through yesterday's content by looking through evolutions because... We actually had a really interesting set of Evos yesterday. Interesting because there's some positives and some negatives. First of all, full power gives a power shot plus. That's all. No stat upgrade, nothing like that. But it's just for team of the week cards, max 86 rated. Now, there are some good ones that you can put into this, like the Martinelli, who's actually in my club. Very tempted to do this. I just actually played a game of Division Rivals, and the guy I was playing against had just finished evolving his Rafinha with power shot plus. Maybe that's better than doing the SBC. You know, that's something to kind of think about. Maybe <laughs> having this Rafinha in form is better than doing the SBC. Rodman, Diaz, Kvaric, Skelia. I mean, even Militao, right? I mean, you can put any card in here that is below or 86 rated and below into this evolution to get a power shot plus. The only problem with this is you lose the rarity of the team of the week card. It just becomes an Evo item. So for SBCs in the future, that's maybe an L. But I guess if you're looking for future evolvability, it could make your card more appealing in the future like martin with power shot plus if there's an evo that he would fit 
that is just going to boost his stats when he has the playstyle plus that would be nice so it's pretty easy to get these done too just play a couple of matches so again this is the other one the disruptor which gives intercept plus and this drag machine is probably one of the favorite cards to be put in it kind of the same thing as the power shot plus one it's just a playstyle plus upgrade but i do want to mention guys that these informs have gone up like crazy on the market rafinha is actually like 390,000 coins if you look at his graph from yesterday he was 380 spiked up to 415 and has actually come back down i didn't realize he had come back down that much but a lot of these informs had moved uh rodman was like 270 she went back up and now she's back down to 260 so it was kind of like it looks like you know this one's trending upwards she was 250 actually but, you know, a lot of these informs spiked for sure and then kind of came back down. I don't think there's a ton of hype with this evolution, just for a couple of players. But that's something to keep an eye on, that some of these informs people might be wanting to put in this evolution. If they do come back down a lot, that actually could be an investment. Because if they're being put into SBCs, they're out of packs informs. They could just continue to rise in price as people still want to use those cards in this game too. So that's actually a really good place to look on the market for trades is some of those cards. Now let's go to the objective section really quick for a couple of things. First of all, uh, we have to talk about the FC Pro. We knew this was coming. We talked about it in yesterday's video. You can get two mega packs and two draft tokens for linking your EA account to your Twitch and to your YouTube. Like literally, I logged in yesterday, add content. These were already completed because I've had them linked from the last couple of years from these objectives that they've had before. And I claimed two mega packs, got some extra fodder, got some stuff in the club, and it was that. If you do that, easy packs there. And then of course, the actual event that is this weekend, you can earn season points, which would be for the new season starting today, that you'll be able to earn that for. On November 2nd and November 3rd, if you watch the broadcast, you can get a 100k pack and some other stuff in here from doing this whole thing. So that's out, and that is officially there. The other thing that we had yesterday was Team of the Week number 7, which honestly... It's some budget cards, lower budget, decent cards to try out, future Evo possibilities. Thank you for blocking ads. We love that. Um, I do want to point this out, though, for the team of the week. There's only one player in this team of the week with a playstyle plus, and that is Conte. Pretty crazy. But Openda, Lookman, Williams, and Buemo. Honestly, I'm looking at this team of the week, and I just see future Evo potential and cheap beasts right now. Of course, watch out. Their prices are definitely going to be coming down in price. Uh, down in value uh, with the Rivals Rewards set today. So that is one thing to definitely watch for. And that was the content from yesterday on a Wednesday. The party bag was definitely the top thing for sure that was getting a lot of clicks and a lot of notice because it was just super duper cheap. Now, of course, today heading into Rivals Rewards, yesterday on Wednesday, big market day, big day for investments. As we hopefully see, as we do every single week, a market rise for Division Rivals Rewards. If you're looking to make an investment still before rewards and you're watching this video, out of pack specials, icons, heroes. Those are going to be your best place to go. Just check some footprint graphs. Look at some of those players that you think people might be buying. Of course, the market was down a lot earlier this week and prices have started to rise back up, especially on some of these cards like Total Rush Trent. He was 300,000 coins yesterday. He's now approaching. He was 330k. I bought Shuameni on stream yesterday for 500 flat. He's now all the way up to 540, 550. He could be going higher today as well. It's these sorts of cards that I think have the best chance of rising today. Dalo was another one that was moving. Road to the knockout cards would be great to trade with too for some of those that were low. That's a 100k undercut on Salad. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, if you're still looking for some buys, that's where you could go. But if you're getting into things and you're like, nah, I want to wait until the actual rewards are out, definitely look at the Trailblazers cards. Guys, these have a lot of hype and they are are down. Urente's 314. That's so low. Pulisic is 220k. And the thing with Pulisic is, I like this as an investment because he is still one of the most meta Serie A attackers. He's got a five-star weak foot, four-star skills, and a lot of people that have been using his loan card, that loan's going to start running out. Actually, I think it started running out yesterday for those who claimed it right away, or maybe it's today. This card maybe has a bit of an increase in value for people that want to go back out and buy it after their loan goes away because he was fun to use. I know I've been using him and have a lot of fun. That's a sneaky investment for today, but watch these cards during the supply for sure, along with the fodder. Like we mentioned, guys, fodder is an incredible investment today on that 85 to 7 range. I think these would be my second favorite investment for something that is in packs. Of course, you can always go for some gold cards if you want. Just try to find somebody who's down bad. Like Puteus. Puteus last week was out of packs and she went from 350. No, was it 350? I think it was like she went up like 50,000 coins, whatever it was. I think she was actually still 500,000 coins. It was like 450 to 500 last week. 
Um, and she's now down to 330k, which is crazy. And I do think there will be some gold cards that move today. So if you want to go that route, if you're on a bit of a lower budget, make sure you look at these cards during the rewards time frame as well. Get on those bids, get on those snipes for gold players because they will get packed a bit, but then they should be rising after rivals rewards get paid out and people use those coins to start go building some teams now let's talk about the big content that's coming today of course a lot of you guys are going to be watching this video when the new season is already out so i don't want to spend too much time talking about this because it's still a lot of unknowns one thing i gotta go finish some squad battles games to get this joe bellingham because this is expiring basically at the season reset. So that's one thing that I just noticed. But a part of the new season today, we have this car design added to the code. Since it was added yesterday, it makes me think that maybe there's going to be some sort of Centurions player as a part of the season progress. I think we'd be watching out for that very closely today. And we have the official leaked stats for the Robbie Keane card. 85 overall guys these on these day on this day hero cards really look like flashbacks for regular players like we've had before just exactly as we thought it was a pace boost and a dribbling boost for this Robbie Keane but they decreased his shooting by four and decreased his passing by a little bit as well from his regular card but he does get power shot plus again questions of is he coming in the season today is he going to be an SBC today since we have the official card leak I don't know when he's going to be released but that's his official card and honestly if he's cheap he could end up being pretty good i know the shooting and the passing stats look like whoa that's really low but he could end up being one of those players in game that actually plays really really well so of course the big thing we're waiting on is the full season with all the cards that are going to be inside of it what are going to be the player rewards what is ea going to change for the packs of course we know this tovan is going to be a part of it that was leaked a couple of days ago by foot sheriff so we're focusing on french we think could be a syria focus because they did say in the early game launch update pitch notes it could be league or nation but we're gonna guess nation a lot of things have been moving french lately but we'll have to see based on that and as a reminder regarding division rivals and regarding the new season today don't forget that when we have the refresh of the season we usually get relegated in rivals so like right now i'm in division two probably means i'll even be in either be in division three or four i'm not sure if they're going to relegate us one or two divisions and it might depend on where you're at in the whole one elite through division 10 scheme as well but there will be some relegations today that is something to watch out for and lastly the paid season pass will there be that option today or will there not be i'm starting to lean towards the fact there may not be a paid season pass as a part of things today just because there hasn't been anything leaked about it so we'll see again as we mentioned maybe it's going to be season three but maybe we'll be surprised and it will be today we'll just have to see we'll be looking very closely to see what packs how many levels and who's this, of course at the very end of the season two coming out today now let's move on and talk about stuff coming a little bit later down the road because it was kind of the forefront of all the information that we had yesterday on this game obviously team one of trailblazers leaving packs tomorrow team two is going to replace it yes this is a team two team promo and then we'll have something else after this we have some big names that are leaked starting with vinicius jr he's definitely the headline player and if you compare him to holland and think about who's going to be more expensive on the market bon, um, holland or vinny even bon Mati in there as well vinny is definitely going to be more expensive this is a top two gold card in the game his gold card is still like 1.7 1.8 million coins his informs almost three mil how much is this card going to be different play style plus i don't know what that play style plus is going to be for him imagine they give him like finesse or maybe they just change it to rapid Really not sure what they're going to give him. That's going to be something we'll have to watch out for Vinny. But he is coming as a trailblazer. He's the headliner player. And it'll be very difficult to pack him for sure. Now, moving on to some other leaks. We have Trinity Rodman. The NWSL hype continues. Her inform, of course, we just looked at, fits into the new evolution to get the power shot. Plus, her inform was dropping after this week leak was released. But I do think this card's going to be quite expensive as well. Her inform does not have a playstyle plus on the base version. This one definitely will, right? That's, again, what this whole promo is about. The playstyle plus additions for the top tier cards or playstyles in general. And then roll plus pluses. So we'd expect some maybe even a position added to her card as well that'd be super nice and uh definitely a really meta item there for trinity rodman moving on we have just leaked hot off the price luis diaz you saw his inform also fits in to the evo from yesterday too but this card 
could be a banger as well. Like, I mean, add a playstyle plus to this one. Maybe it's rapid. Um, when Luis Diaz had an SBC card last year that was super crazy. I'm forgetting what promo that was from, but he had a nuts card. I'm just remembering now, and I think that one had like rapid plus or something like that. But if Luis Diaz gets a nice card, he's going to be expensive. I mean, if I look at this promo team and try to compare Luis Diaz to somebody who might have a similar value, I'm looking at a Kavicha who's 800K or a Cole Palmer of 500,000 coins. That's kind of where I would say like Rodman and Diaz both, I would imagine would be priced compared, uh, depending upon their upgrades. But that's kind of where I think they would be. Pretty expensive cards in that mid to top tier of the next week of this promo. Last player leaked is Dennis Mann. I think FIFA Romania enjoyed tweeting this one out. But if he's from Parma as a right mid. Very pacey, maybe a bit of uh, more fodder card, budget card inside of the team, but maybe usable in meta as well. But really the big leak is the victory Icarus is not in just kidding there's one more it's this one Musiala I don't want to skip over Yikera is not being in because that is big news a lot of people were hoping that he was going to be in this promo team before trading Romania says he is not in so if he's saying that somebody's not in the team he must have all the leaks just reading between the lines so tweet out the whole team man I don't know but we do have Musiala coming today as a total rush SPC player and just like Romania says here, he was insane at the beginning of the game. I remember people wanting to buy Musiala's gold card left, right, and center because he was so OP. The problem was Bundesliga doesn't have as many meta players. Now, we're a little bit further on, and there's probably some better links to him now. You've got the Kane card that's released. You've got the Guerrero card and other icons and heroes, German icons, heroes, of course, with Bundesliga links. It would be a lot easier to, to link to Musiala since we have more coins and stuff like that at this stage of the game. But this card could actually be pretty crazy. I mean, I think to me, this is on the level of the Rafinha, maybe just slightly below because it's maybe not as easy to link for some people, but this would, could be very, very good. Technical plus for this card. He's got center attack in mid shadow striker plus plus question is what is EA going to change about this new card? They're going to give him a play stop plus probably and probably change it too. Would they give him, he's got incisive, he's got trickster, he's got flair. Would they give him a new one? Like, would they give him finesse? Would they give him tiki taka? Would they give him incisive? Or, you know, will they upgrade to him to him size? I don't know. That's the big question that I have. But he's five star skills, four star weak foot. And again, the Byron links, he's very linkable. And some of those are already going up on the market. This Guerrero card with Tiki Taka Plus is already up. He was like 40,000 coins yesterday. He's now 50K. I mentioned the Harry Kane card. And even some of the heroes and icons that are German are already starting to rise. Harry Kane's like 640 with a couple of undercuts right here. He was 600K flat when this was leaked. Guys like Lisa Razu, really, really, really interested in this price over the weekend. Of course, tanked, right? With left backs uh, going down a lot. He's already rebounded pretty well. This is a card that I traded with this week. Other cards like Rudy Voller, you'd want to be watching. Any of the Bundesliga heroes, even um, not Mario Gomez, really. Maybe Klosa as an icon. Somebody that Musiala could be linking up with with those links. Or Lam as a German icon as well. Kind of stuff to look into because if Musiala is cracked, you're probably going to see a lot of a shift in the Bundesliga prices because people are going to need to link those together. So that's for tomorrow, of course. But something to kind of keep on your radar today that maybe if there's some low prices on some cards that would be favorites to link that Musiala if he comes out as good value those are definitely going to start to go up so that is one thing to watch i think that moose sbc could be crazy but that one should be coming tomorrow with team two of trailblazers now let's close up shop and talk about the rest of the content coming today it's thursday so we don't expect much i mean the season is the biggest content of today for sure but we have more key matchups that we can always count on on Thursdays. We'll get a new set of packs here. Maybe some market movements depending on the matchups that they choose. Again, we do have already the showdown for Man United versus Chelsea. Will they also feature that in MMs? Maybe. I mean, Manchester United was featured this last week with West Ham. So maybe they don't want to go back to back weeks on that. We'll have to see. That's something to watch out for inside of that. And then, of course, we mentioned it already, but it's worth mentioning again. If this isn't a part of the season... Since we have official stats, maybe it's an SBC today. Maybe it's not until like Saturday or Sunday on the weekend. But a Robbie Keane SBC could be coming as well soon since we have those official stats. Usually when you start to get official leaks, it's like, okay, this must be coming close. And then, of course, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, the biggest thing today is definitely the Icon Pack refreshing. Now, I'm probably almost, I would say, definitely not considering doing this because my club is decimated of fodder. Even after getting some Rivals rewards today, I just don't know if it's going to be worth it, but a lot of people are going to be able to craft this again today and want to do it. 
there's going to be fodder movements again i think that's one of my favorite investments right now but it also could impact some prices like for our normal thursday market rise right after we have division rivals rewards what we see is like a nice rise and then prices go further up after the content drop well that might be a little bit different today is because since we have that icon pack that might start to drain some people's coins right at the content drop too so maybe we have a market rise today after rewards we have a rise 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 that we get to content then maybe there's a bit of a dip and then maybe stuff goes back up a little bit later into friday again with the weekend league demand there too i think there's still going to be a lot of prices that continue to go up but i think it might make for a interesting double dip scenario today and just a bit of a different thursday in terms of the market i wouldn't be that worried the refreshes for spcs like that never have as much crazy hype as the initial release because some people are still crafting it and even waiting for today's rewards to go and do it for the first time around let alone get it done for a second time so i think the market still should do very well today unless ea drops something crazy with the season it should be nice to make some profits see some card prices rise and hopefully have something a little bit better than just a normal non-tent thursday with the new season and maybe that icon refresh happening today too so that's the video for today guys we'll be watching out for more trailblazers team two leaks and of course work in the market getting our games in for foot champs if you want to watch the tfatg yesterday i struggled i was not able to qualify for foot champs i went two and three it was tough but it was probably good content so if you want to check that out I'll link it above right here but i will say after playing i played three rivals games i won two of them and lost one actually maybe i drew one i forget um i'm back in in division two it was actually a lot of points to get back per game per win you get a lot of champs quality points so all i had to do is win two and now i'm back in champs playoffs so that was really really nice so we'll give this another go today on stream first time ever that we were not able to qualify but you know what well, the first time for everything so we'll hopefully get it today and be in the foot champs weekend league for this weekend but that's going to be a video for me today guys have a great thursday if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for you check out the second channel and i will see you guys in the video tomorrow it's been made for the count see you there peace out